Monday Day Post Show video for your third day of spring. It's a Wednesday. It is the uh, 22nd of uh, March. The breaking news this morning um, is that uh, two children were kidnapped at an Admiral gas station, not far from the radio station, actually. And, and not kidnapped in like the traditional sense of someone snatched them, but actually, Somebody yeah. stole the car from the gas station while the mom was inside and the kids were in the back seat. Now, as of right now, when we're filming this, they have not found the kids. Yeah, we don't know. There's been Amber Alerts and everyone's going full blown trying to find uh, these children in the car. Hopefully by the time you see this, yeah. it will be different and we'll have good news. But as of right now, the children um, are still missing. What time are we filming this? Let's uh, get time. 9.53. 9.53 in the 9 morning. 9.53. Um, so like I said, hopefully by the time this posts, um, they'll have found the children. But I am going to smack down everybody right now. Stop shaming the mother. Mom, Stop it right now. Is there mom shaming going on? There's tons of mom shaming. Are you joking? Like, you're, you've got to be kidding me. All these moms, how could you leave your kids in the car? Uh, how could you leave your kids in the car while it's running and run into it? Stop it now. I've, right now. I've left my, my kid in the car. I have too. I have too. And the last thing we need to do to that mother right now who is probably terrified oh. and feels really freaking bad right now is to publicly shame her. Knock it off, okay? Stop it. It is weird. It's people's different level. I mean, but I mean, I guess that just goes to show people's different level of trust. Like I've talked about this. My best friend lives in a nice neighborhood in a cutesy subdivision and he has his house locked down ADT style yeah. like like Fort Knox. Because he goes, well, the safety and the this and the that. And, of course, I'm like, well, I don't think you really need it around here. But maybe that's just me. I mean, you never know, but. Yeah. And, and on, on the flip side, I'm not going to lie to you. I have done this a thousand times, especially when my son yeah. was young and I was oh. in Seattle. We, I did it. Oh, my gosh. That was the first time I did yeah. it, too, was when we were in Seattle. I was at a gas station yeah. in Tacoma. That's yeah. the first time I did it. Yeah, because you'd run in real, either you're paying your gas tab. Back then, I smoked. Yeah. You'd go in and grab your pack of cigarettes. And, you know, it's 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 a baby. So well, it's so much trouble to get him out. Get, well, especially and, this mom. I mean, she had a three-year-old and a baby in the yeah. car. I get it. Okay? Probably running into, to, to, I mean, it's not like she went shopping to a Walmart or no. a Target. It's a gas station. No, there are parents who leave their kids in the car to go do really, really bad things. Go gambling? <laughs> go out drinking? This mom, leave her alone, okay? Yeah. She's going through enough right now. Give her a break. Yeah, I, I no more I mom agree. shaming. I, agree. I think it's really sad that that's where we're at. Um, so hopefully this has a happy ending. Well, yeah, it wants to all work itself out. But do not mom shame her for this. I've done it. Pat's done it. If you haven't done it, good for you. Maybe you Yay, think you're a better parent. you're better than all of us. That's fine, but this is not the time to shame the mom, so cut it out. Click on that button below if you want to subscribe to these videos. You'll get them every day here on the Cars 108 YouTube channel. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.